Alright, this is take two. We have a propeller on the back this time and a three cell battery, so hopefully I don't kill it. See if we can do better. Well, it flies terribly right now, but. Okay, let me check the track. Take two. That was interesting. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, the landing was sort of intended. It wasn't where I wanted it to, but the, um, if you, well, it's not being weird now. Yeah, see that? Um, apparently, it takes a minute to get fired up, so I had cut the throttle completely and had it on an approach, and it was coming in too steeply, so I tried throttling up, and it wouldn't, so I just kind of pancaked it in. And um, airplane is very docile when the power comes off. Uh, it needs, I guess, like some up thrust or something, like to angle the prop up like this, um, because it. I'm holding a lot of nose up trim um, with the power in, but then when I cut the power, it pitches up. So um, I'll have to work on that. That could mean that uh, under rocket power, it's a little interesting because there is no way to tweak the thrust line for the rocket motor uh, but anyway it does fly I think uh, I think it can be made to fly quite well um, needs more power in terms of that's a three cell 300 in there uh, because that's what I've got that's got JST connectors so I need to fix that uh, but otherwise I would say uh, successful maiden after all the tribulations and I guess now I need to paint it See y'all. All right, we are out here ready to go on an Estes D12-0. Hopefully I don't crash this. I'm gonna have a hard time seeing it. Five pounds of thrust on not nearly heavy enough rocket. Hold some up elevator in and hope it does not crash. Beautiful. Nice. Come on, it's hard to steer. <laughs> oh, shut up. Okay, it flies. Uh, I may need to do some minor repairs. Um, yeah, the uh, 
I was stalling, and uh, that's what happens when you're stalling all over the place. So it flies good, I like it, um, and I need to learn to fly. See y'all. So the question is, <laughs> which one, which way did you like launching it better? RC version or a rocket? Uh, they were both RC. Okay, whatever. Uh, rocket by far. Uh, frankly, under power as a rocket, it flies very predictably. I like it. Uh, we're going to have to put it up on an E next time. See y'all. Alright, so a uh, quick post-mortem. Um, that's the only damage right there. Uh, because it wasn't a controlled landing, per se. It dug into the dirt a little. Um, so that's, that's easy to do. Um, one thing I did notice, you're going to want a forward engine stop for your uh, motor mount. As you notice, the, the front of the, the engine is up here. Yeah, it kind of slipped up in there, and that, um, that will reduce your thrust output. In addition to the fact that means the engine can ultimately slip out a little bit. So you'll want to uh, put a, a collar inside to prevent that. Um, let's see, is there anything else I can think of off the top of my head? Uh, keep it below the stall and you're good. Um, I need to check my trims on here. Um, but anyway, uh, as long as you stay, as you keep your airspeed up, which I was low on options so I couldn't really do that because I, um, when it plopped into the glide I was facing that way and that didn't give me enough options to turn around well. Um, but really, not a hard airplane to fly under rocket power. I don't think we got above maybe 50-60 miles an hour on that. Um, on an E-engine you'll get up probably to 80. Um, but, uh, yeah, I can honestly say I, as a, an RC uh, rocket, I recommend it. Um, it's, it's actually, it's, it's good. Just um, do it without trees around.